What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today I'm going to guys a video on a very anticipated thing, and this is going to be a advanced overlay. So uh, it's not going to be like the one you see right up there in the top, it's going to be the one you see on my screen, and it's going to be pretty easy to do actually, I'm going to go really in depth with it, and I think we can get it done pretty quickly. So uh, what I did is I just opened it up on my uh, screen right here, and I'm just going to move it all the way up to the top and then I'm gonna find a picture. So when you're making these, you guys wanna find a picture to use in the background. So uh, for this, I think I'm only using 1280 by 720. Let me check. Yeah, I'm using 1280 by 720 just because this is my, uh, this is my like screen recording thing. Like whenever I'm using Camtasia, I usually uh, save it in seven or 1280 by 720. So you can either work in 1920 by 1080, which is like HD, or you guys can work on whatever you want. So what you want to do is type in Black Ops 3 uh, gameplay or whatever you want to put, and you want to find pretty much any vi or any picture of some guy with a gun out front. So here's a nice one. Someone has a CUDA, and then you pretty much just want to paste it into Photoshop, and then just shrink it until it matches your screen size, and then just kind of move it and then solid so the next thing you want to do is just put it down to the bottom and make it a black and white so just put black and white make a new layer put the new layer below it take your black paint bucket and then you're pretty much just going to lower the opa opacity 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 that sounds a little weird now so uh basically if you put this in the bottom you guys can see that already it looks pretty sweet this one so uh, we're gonna be pretty much recreating this so to space these out what i'm gonna do is put a black bar right here just so like i have something to work that's so i'm not getting distracted so i'm pretty much like splitting them through so uh, the next step you want to do is hit Control h and this will pretty much click on your rulers i think it will maybe Control h again there you go Control h and then it should just pop it in the middle wherever it goes that's not the middle yeah, there's middle. So uh, starting off this tutorial, what you want to do is grab on the uh, polygon tool and just make a new layer right away. So you can pretty much see that I have a nice square long, um, a nice square long thing. So what I'm gonna do is take actually a black rectangle and kind of just make a rectangle on the bottom, whatever width and whatever thickness you want. Don't make it too big because you gotta remember that this is going on a video or going on a tutorial. So you have to like, you have to be wise with how long you make it. So I'm actually gonna make it a little longer. All right, after you do that, what you wanna do is just rasterize it. So right click, rasterize, and just kinda click here and then hold shift until you hit the corners. But you can go back to the bottom corner. Moment about the puke, hold shift and do that. And then just delete the left side or whatever side you didn't use. Next thing we're gonna do, hit control J and then go to edit, transform, and flip horizontally. And then just bring this to the other side. So uh, you guys pretty much got your bottom piece. So uh, the next step you want to do is merge these two. So just click this and hit merge. And then duplicate. And then bring to the other side. But take your polygon tool and then just do the same thing. But cut off like a pretty good chunk of the other side that you did. Just take, took, taken off? Took off, yeah. And just put it a little closer. Hit control J, duplicate. And flip horizontally and move to the other side about the same spacing if you can just like that so you have your pretty much your bottom piece now because this is actually a little big but uh it's it's gonna look good because you gotta add text and stuff so uh to start this off you want to work piece by piece so uh you guys can either do one of two things you guys can work in sections you guys can just go straight into it so i'm gonna go straight into it. i'm gonna hit a new layer hit alt and put a uh clip mat clip uh, clipping mask onto my rectangle Click the uh, brush tool and put it on like a size about one like 170, 160, and the click is right in the bottom, so it creates a little like uh shadow, and then put it in the top right and top left, and then lower the opacity to about 10. So this is basically if you take the ruler off, this is basically the uh, the size. So you're gonna lower this down, actually maybe a little bit more, like six. All right, and then you want you want the. <laughs> God, I'm messing up a lot. What you want to do is then make a new layer and then work with the uh, sides. So how I did these blue things is I clicked, let's just say right here, and I held shift, and then I clicked it's like right there, and then I just brought it down in the middle, and then I just connected these. And then I'm going to put this actually below that middle piece. Then fill, and you're going to put this to any color. For the tutorial's sake, I'm just going to make it blue. And then you want to take your tool and kind of just maybe cut this out a little bit. Take your eraser on a size about 
70s and just kind of slowly erase it like this. So you have pretty much like a nice uh, a nice stroke. So I might be a little too big, but uh, the next thing you want to do is add a gradient on it. So gradients don't really matter technically that much. It's just how you want it to appear. Um, you guys can add any gradients on it. I'm not going to go specifically into certain ones you have to use. So it's going to pretty much all up to you. Maybe delete another section of that so it's a nice little bit more of a glare and more a gradient post. Next thing you want to do is pretty much take this and then you guys can just duplicate it and flip horizontally and bring this to exactly the other side. So it's pretty much like this. And then you can work with your text in the middle. So for the text in the middle, what I do is open up my logo. So if I go on my desktop, and I believe it's on my personal. No, nope, that's not it. Um, it's not designing, is it? Yeah, it's mine. That didn't work. Um, desktop. <sighs> right, that's not it. It is my personal, it's in the keep folder. All right, and then you're gonna take this and pretty much just drag it in. And sorry for not looking at the camera a lot, I'm actually focusing more on my Photoshop than I am of what I look like and how the camera is. So you're gonna pretty much just take your logo in, shrink it down, and to just put it in the middle, make it a little bit bigger. And then just put it above the uh, middle piece and then put it like a white gradient on it or something, something that's nice. So you guys got that. So uh, next thing I want to do is add text. So for the text, what you want to do is just go over here and type in, let's just say, I don't know, don't type anything in yet. Make sure your font size is like a 20 or a 5 or something. It's really tiny. I think 20 is good. And then make it like, uh, what's a good font? Nexa Bold. Nexa Bold is usually a good font to use. And then all lowercase, type in like, follow, nah, this font's a little weird. Maybe put Bang Gothic. I don't want to use too much of a... Uh, a well-known font. I guess you can use Bank Gothic. Just put like follow me and put that in the middle and then be like slash bear design. All right, and then you can make bear design a little bit bigger. Let's just say by five points. And then you put this next to it like that so they're centered on each other. And then put these in the middle. And then you guys can zoom out, make sure the sizing's good. So uh, I think that's a little weird. So what I'm gonna do is follow me. I'm gonna put Actually, what I do for this one? I put www. Dot. No, I put Twitter. Dot. I, I, I Twitter. Dot, Twitter. 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 Dot com slash bear design. All right, and then you can just make this smaller, so it fills up a lot more space. All right, and then you guys can just put that there. And uh, these are pretty good. So you want to do is add gradients onto that. Same thing. Make the top one a nice, uh, a nice silver. Bottom one a nice uh, blue or whatever color you're using. And then just hit right click and duplicate these layers, and then just drag them to the side. So this is pretty much what you do. Like follow me, and then you can say subscribe to. So you can just change this to subscribe to. And instead of having Twitter.com, you can just put YouTube. Make sure everything's uh, lowercase. YouTube.com slash bear design. So you're pretty much set on that so far. So that's pretty good so far. That's like your basic uh, borders. Now, you gotta work on the other stuff. So you can pretty much take this off and you guys can realize that it doesn't look exactly like this is because we're not doing exactly the same. So uh, going back to this, you guys can actually mess with the opacity now a lot more in these brushes. Brush, brushes. So I'm gonna put this, put this up to about 17%. And then I'm going to go work on the right side first. So the right side, I'm doing the same thing, basically. I'm going to take my uh, tool. I'm going to kind of make a, a nice uh, kind of gradient. And then I'm going to just fill it with any color. Make it blue. Take my eraser. And you guys know the drill. Just kind of erase this a little bit so it creates a nice gradient like that. And then you're pretty much set on that part. So... What you want to do next is find out where that actually is. So I think mine's up a little more. Yeah, it's right here. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to make a new layer. And then you guys are going to make a white brush. Excuse me, you're going to put a, a clipping mask onto it. And then you're going to make a white brush. And you're going to click in the bottom left-hand corner and the bottom right-hand or the top right-hand corner. And lower it to the same opacity, about 17%. So this is where you can, guys can put to my cell file or my Skype. So in the tutorial, what I'm going to do is just duplicate these two. Hitting Control-J on them. 
moving them over and putting them above that. Oops. Subscribe to. I'm going to change it to, let's just say my selfie. And then I'll put to selfie.com slash. I think it's mine's better than selfie.com slash bear design. So it's basically the same thing. And then you guys can uh, go back into your opacity, maybe bring it up a little more. Just like this. Take these two. Actually, what you can do is del delete the one all over the left and just highlight every single one on the right side, duplicate it, and just drag it. Like this. Take your thing, your like your bottom piece, and just flip horizontally. And then move your text along with it. And I forgot something to bring along with. Um, where is it? No. Yeah, this is it. Make sure you just bring your layers along with you when you're doing this. Just because if you forget one layer, it just looks really uh, sloppy. And you don't want a sloppy overlay when you're making stuff, do you? I personally don't. And then that's pretty decent. And then you guys have to re-put uh, re it together. So I'm going to bring this all the way up here. And then try to figure out where my stuff is. So... Think this is all it yeah and that's about the same thing so then you can change this one to instead of myself I can change it to my portfolio and then you can change yourself I text to mine still bear designs actually no it's not be net slash Garrett Malone and that would be my Behance folder so you're not done yet you think you are but you're not done you're not done don't even think you're done yet because you're not it's getting really big so what we're gonna do next is actually start adding a little cool excerpt stuff so you're gonna just make a new layer and then you're just pretty much just click out of here bring it down all the way and then you're gonna make a fill any color and you're gonna make this one blue the same color that you're using for your text Maybe move it in a little bit more. Duplicate it, bring it down, and then bring it out again, and then make it silver, but put it below the first one you made, if that makes sense. So it'll look like this. And then you want to do is just take these, duplicate them. So duplicate layers, flip horizontally, and then drag all the way to the other side. I need to bring these all the way down under the uh, other layers because we kind of went a little sloppy with how we play stuff. So you guys got this. This is it so far. And we, th you guys think you're done. As I said before, you're not done. Don't get so anticipated on this. What you want to do is just pretty much delete everything except for this. File, save as, and a PNG. And there's a reason behind this, and I'll go into it when I'm opening it back up. Let me just check. All right, we're still recording. All right, so you want to open it back up in your new layer. So it's just this. And what you want to do is pretty much duplicate it hide the bottom layer and hit control T and just kind of shrink it a little bit and then recenter if you can and then shrink it a little more recenter it and you're good next step I want to do is actually take that uh that black ops 3 layer that you had oops and just kind of bring that in make the bottom layer again make it black and this is when you want to click on this, go to blending options, and then go to outer glow. So go right here and click on outer glow, make it blue, put it on normal, and then make the spread up a little more. So mess with the size and the spread, the opacity too. So maybe make the spread a little more, actually make the size a little more than the spread. And then open the opacity a little bit. And you guys got that. Last step, but definitely not least, take a black box like this and put it in the bottom. And then rasterize. 235. And click it so it's legit on that line. Click, hold shift, and just keep going back and forth so it creates like a little black line. And then this is pretty much the last step. So you want to do is just hide everything. 
file save as and then you can save it as your PNG let's just say overlay and your guys are set so this is it um you guys can have this as a PSD um for I'm not, I'm not trying to be a savage for today for uh, let's just say 50 likes 50 likes and we will release this oh I'll release this not we but I'll release this as a template for you guys here I'll put this one along with the uh, example here it is I wanna actually what am I doing here you go I'll release this to the public for 50 likes so I uh, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial people have been wanting this for a while so if you definitely like this, give it a thumbs up and definitely check out my other tutorials. This is pretty much a really easy tutorial to do and it didn't really take long. I'm not too sure how long it took. I don't think it tells me. It's 16 minutes to do and it definitely is not that big of a hustle. So if you guys like these tutorials, let me know in the uh, comments below. Check out my Twitch in the description below and if you have any tutorial suggestions, let me know in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.